What's going on, everybody? Welcome to After Prison Show, and joining me is Jellico. What's going on with you, buddy? How are we doing, brother? Doing How are we good, doing? man. Doing good. Hey, I appreciate you coming over here and doing this with me again. Not a problem. I want to thank you for doing the candy video with us. A lot of people got a kick out of that, and I know it had to be good for you as well, because this was probably the first video that we did. It was definitely the first video we did where people were actually saying some really awesome things about you in the comment section. Yeah, um, I, I don't know what it is. Uh, I guess I'm not a likable dude on camera. But yeah, I've had a lot of positive feedback on this one and uh, opposed to some of the other ones. Uh, I guess I didn't come out as the slick uh, car on this guy this time, more real, more... Uh, uh, a lot of people didn't know that we did a lot of time together, so that was kind of surprising with it. People just thought that I just ended up on the show just because, I don't know, I just, whatever. We did a lot of time together. Uh, one thing that I want to talk to you guys about real quick is what I talked with Jellico about prior to us doing the candy video, and that was, you know, just slow it down. People probably got a wrong idea about you because you do talk fast. You know, <laughs> he's not used to being on camera, so everybody's got their own way and takes their own time to get used to this. And I want to say, man, you did an outstanding job the last time that we did a video, and I wanted to bring you back today to do some more cooking. Right on, man, right on, because like I said, I was in the kitchen, so a lot of, a lot of my bid time was spent in the kitchen and cooking or, or dealing with you know the everyday canteen items and stuff like that, because you know all, all of this is currency and this is how we get by in the system, you know what I'm saying? You're right, all of this is currency, this is money. You know, I saw something too, people were talking about the number one prison currency item. And they were saying that it was actually ramen noodle soups. It is the number one currency when you're like in the pod or the dorm system, but a lot of places you can't come and go as you please. So, but generally the ramen noodle, you know, that's a meal. You know what I'm saying? That'll get you by a good three, four hours. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's cheap, it's convenient. And uh, you know, usually if you're taking it somewhere and a CEO catches you, he realizes, you know, it's just something to eat. You know what I'm saying? If you got like an onion or something, you know, they'll take it from you. But, you know, it's just, you know, it's just food. You know what I'm saying? You're right. Inside of the housing unit, the ramen noodle soups, that's your currency right there for sure. But it's your stamps. Your stamps are definitely more easy to transport. Yeah, your stamps. And uh, they have the little coolie packs now, the, the little Werther's or whatever it is. But yeah, they're, they're pretty easy. But, yeah, you know, stamps are just easier. Two of those make a dollar. You know what I'm saying? And you can carry close close to $300 in your pocket on the yard. Without? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're not even being bothered, yeah. Well, what we're getting ready to do today is gonna to be really interesting because not only are we doing prison cooking with Jellico, people were calling you Angelico, uh, yeah. Jericho. Yeah, yeah. The man's name is Jellico. Uh, not only are we doing prison cooking with you today, we're gonna to be doing some prison cooking that you did. And your story is really interesting because it's not like you were going to commissary all that often, if at all, right? Yeah, no, I wasn't. See, we get a state check. Um, everybody gets 27 cents an hour when they work. I was making 30, 35, so that's roughly a $30 check they take out for your um, your hold money or your court fine. So I was getting like $24 a month. So a lot of things that I've seen y'all making are just out of my price range. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are above my pay grade with some of the things that y'all were making. And I said something to you, some of the things aren't so flashy, but it's just things I used to use to get by, man. Some, some of the, the simplest things I used to use, you know, just to, to hold myself over to, to the next meal. We're gonna be making some cheap prison meals here with Jellico today. And we're not just gonna make one, we're gonna, we're gonna make three. And Jellico was a guy that hustled to survive in prison. You're a guy that didn't have problems because everybody knew you and could come to you if they needed things. Yeah. Uh, you worked with me with the prison porn operation. Yep. I worked with you in terms of, hey, Jellico, can you get your hands on this? Can you find me a pair of 36, 32 Levi's? <laughs> yeah. Or uh, electronics. You always needed cords for, for uh, your tattoo guns or for making tattoo guns and stuff like that. Or the clear paper for the stencils and stuff like that. Or the different color inks, such and such. But yeah, some of the most random stuff people were asked for, man. It, it's really surprising what people need or want in the system. Well, you know, that brings me to a good question that I want to ask you right now, Jellico, and that is, you know, with you being the hustle man, you're the guy that can get his hands on everything. What is probably one of the craziest things that you can remember somebody was asking you if you could get your hands on? Well, a lot of times people want things that COs have. Um, somebody needed a, they wanted a battery to a walkie-talkie. 
for whatever reason. I was like, man, I can't help you there. But a lot of the flicks, you know, the the, the porn operation, some of the craziest pictures they people would ask for, man. Do you remember that picture with the dog? With the dog, about to say everybody wanted a picture with the Great Dane and the blonde. Everybody wanted that one. I was like, oh my gosh, that is disgusting. But yeah, and then there was one with the feces kind. Oh guys like kind with feces, and I'm just like, oh man. Yeah, y'all. Or, y'all or the some... white on black, or the black. Just it's it just everybody's. It's just it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? The it truth really, comes really out crazy. when you're dealing with that side of <laughs> yes. the prisoners. Yes. It Angelico, is. man, can you get me an Indian chick? I'm looking for full on hair. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, well, a lot of the ones that are overseas, they still have hair, and a lot of older guys liked hair. You know, a lot of. The, Younger guys wanted big girls. I mean, everybody wanted big girls. I mean, a lot of the, the, the skinny girl pictures that I want, no one, some guys just wouldn't even look at them. It's crazy to think about what was popular in prison. <laughs> but enough about that. We're getting ready to cook some cheap prison meals with Jellico because, again, uh, this is very important to mention. Jellico was not a guy who was going to commissary all that often, and most of the food items that you would get your hands on were coming to you in the form of payment for yeah. the hustling that you were doing. Absolutely. So with all of that being mentioned, Jellico, let's talk about the three meals that we're getting ready to make right now. Okay, my first meal is my go-to meal. And all it is is it's just what they call a burrito. You can use a soup, sometimes a soup and a half, a handful of cheese doodles or cheese crackers, and you just put it in there. And you put it under warm water and you just form it in the shape of a burrito and you let it sit. It's easy as a one, two, three, believe it or not. And uh, actually, I showed my kids how to make it. Or if someone's trying to put on weight, I'm telling you, this thing is heavy and it'll, it'll hold you down. And then we have the burrito. See, wraps were kind of expensive in the system. I mean, they're only 72 cents, but for some reason, everybody goes through them. And all you need is a noodle and some beans. And you basically have your, own, your, your bean burrito. And uh, we used to have sauces. We had the... The ranch, we had the hot sauce. You get a 10 pack for what was it, 80 cents or something like that? Yeah, I a think pack, so. one pack was like 80 cents. So that made everything just taste delicious. And uh, the last thing is, it's kind of expensive, well, not really expensive, is the bowl shot. This the, will be the bigger of the meals that yes, you would make. Yes, it's the bowl shot. You usually put two or three soups. You have your beans, and sometimes you put your, sa your sausage in there. And it, and it really, really, really doesn't take much. And a lot of times, when you buy the beans or the sausage, you can use those over again. Absolutely. So, so you can, you know, there's several meals out of each item. Like the pickles, you used to, when we were done with these, we put them in a peanut butter jar and seal them back up, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. Well, we're going to make three meals here. We've got our ramen soups. We've got our refried beans that an awesome supporter of After Prison Show sent to us, the freeze-dried ones. We've got pickles. We've got crackers. We've got wraps. We've got cheese doodles. Cheese. Jellico went and found the exclusive, the exclusive prison <laughs> cheese tub. The two kinds that we have. They have city cow. This isn't city cow. But in the system, they have jalapeno or sharp cheddar cheese in a tub, man. And, and how just much remind, were these? Uh, two think, and some change, right? Yeah, just two and some change. Just, I remember your video said, can I get a scoop in that little rap video you got? That's what he's talking about. People will come up to you and be like, yo, man, can I get a scoop of your cheese, man? You know what I'm saying? And that's going to cost you, though. Yeah, it is. I know. You could sell refried beans. Hey, you got a shot of refried beans I yeah, can get? Yeah, I, so, got a, I got a soup for you right here. Yeah, that's exactly. Or man, shot, you ain't going to give me but a spoon of refried I gave you a whole soup. <laughs> or a guy it's who's expensive. A guy who's got a bag of coffee. Shoot, when someone's ain't got anything, shoot, you can get soups all day for a shot of for a shot of coffee. You know, it's just one of those things. Three meals we're getting ready to make right here. We've we've talked about the ingredients. Also got some uh, cheese crackers right here. Jellico, let's get to crushing up some soups. Those are my new floors, Jellico. Come on, man. You, you ain't been to prison unless you slam a ramen noodle on the floor, man. <laughs> Brings me back to the good old days. Yeah, I know the good old days. All right. This is, I'll start off with the burrito. All you got to do, simply just crush it nice and fine. That's all it is. You keep it in the bag just like this. And you know what? I'm a, I'm a steal. R.I.P. to them new floors. <laughs> I'm going to just empty one of these out here. We're going to use this for the bowl shot later anyway. But what you usually, this is usually how you wait. <laughs> this is crazy. But usually how when someone says, hey man, can I get some cheesy poos or can I, get, can I get some cheese crackers? They get a little bag like this and they say, all right. So that's like a, that's like a soup worth uh, of uh, uh, cheese doodles right there. So you, you give them a soup and then they, get, they fill you up like that and there you go. Here you go, buddy. That's your soup shot that's right there. That's your soup shot of cheesy poos. 
So one one soup is gonna buy you that many cheese puffs right there. That's right. That's right. And you just now you ain't gonna do that with these refried beans though. No. No, 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 no. The refried beans, I usually don't put in the little burrito. I mean, you can, but that's a little too expensive. I mean, we can. No, I was saying in terms of how you're selling. Oh, uh, oh, 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 yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody has a weight of measurement. It's kind of it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. Even like the, a fat scoop shot, uh, a fat uh, coffee shot and stuff like that. People are funny about their stuff, but, I mean, believe it or not, like I said, I had $24, and that had to buy hygiene. They had to pay the store box. They had to buy my parlay tickets for the week, and you know what I'm saying? <laughs> little fun fact right here. Jellico had a gambling problem. <laughs> Absolutely. See in here, you just put the, the crunched up cheesy poofs, cheese puffs, just straight. So we're making the bag burrito. We've also got the bull shot going probably close to at the same time with this. Oh, that's gonna be a cheesy little burrito you got right there. Yeah, there it is. And all you do, it's simple as one, two, three, boom. You just add hot water. Uh, we're probably gonna need us some hot water. So I'm gonna go ahead and get us a little bit of hot water jumping. All right, hot water's going right there. Let's talk about the seasoning for this as well. Have you, have you put any seasoning in this? Well, usually what I do is just take half a pack of the cheese. In. Well, because I'm always worried about my health when I'm in the system. <laughs> but uh, I just use half a pack of seasoning. Just put it, just put it in there, boom, boom, boom. Just a little half a pack of seasoning. And when we put the water in there, we just mix it around a little bit. We just mix it around just a little bit, and then we just let it sit. And while we're having that sit, we can work on our... Bowl uh, shot. Our bowl shot. And yeah. then we'll do the burritos last. Now again, as you're seeing us prepare this meal right here, and probably seeing us prepare most of these meals, you're gonna notice there's not too much to this. Because no. again, like Jellico was saying at the beginning of this, you know, he's not doing the fancy cooking. This is a guy who is on straight <laughs> hustle slash survival mode. Yeah. A lot of people don't understand. Even though you get three hots in a cot, if you do not have a job on a compound, you don't get anything extra. If you don't have any, if you don't have a job on a compound, you get what they have called an indigent pack. It's this roll-on deodorant and this little bar of soap that's supposed to last you a month. So a lot of people seem to think people got it made because they have cable or have a TV. No, TVs cost. All that extra stuff that people have, that stuff costs, man. Yeah, and not everybody has it. Yeah. And you know, with that indigent pack like you're talking about, you're not getting any food items no, with that. No, you don't. You don't get noodles and stuff like that. That's what I'm saying. You, you have to have a hustle. If you don't work or you're not hustling, there, there are no noodles. You don't, you don't get any noodles. Yeah, there, <laughs> there, there's, there's no, no ramen no, soup no, if you're not in the loop. Uh, yeah. And the, the loop is you either got you a prison job or you got you a prison hustle. That's and if it. you've got neither one of those two things, you're assed out. That's right. You're going to be hungry. You're going to be surviving off the chow hall. Yeah. And if you're trying to survive off the chow hall, it's that's, probably that's not going to work that, out yeah. too well for that's you. That's tough. That's tough. Trying to beat the deuce. Trying to beat the deuce. <laughs> How many times you beat the deuce, Jellico? We'll see what this last, the last place I was, man, you could beat the deuce by me messing with your ID card. Because make they, sure it they, doesn't they, scan. Yeah, make sure it doesn't scan. So look, you got your ID, you walk through the chow hall, they scan the card, you give it to them, it gives you the green light or the red light. That's right. If you mess with your ID card to where it doesn't scan no more, you tell them, hey, my, my card's broken. I've been here for a long time. Uh, my card just won't scan anymore. But let you go through that chow line twice mm. and that thing comes up red. You're caught for trying to beat the deuce. You're getting you a star, a charge for stealing. It's a 100 series charge, stealing state property. Some nasty food out of the chow hall. You're going to the hole. That's You're gonna it. lose good time. <laughs> You're gonna lose visits. Someone's gonna be like, why Why don't you have a visit? We came up to see you. It's because y'all didn't send me no money and I had to try to beat the deuce in the chow hall. <laughs> beat the deuce? What does that even mean? What does beat the deuce mean? <laughs> try to go through that line twice and get me an extra hot dog tray. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Literally. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like I said, you just put a little warm water in it. You just basically just mix it around. It gets real gooey. And it's got to sit for a long time. Not really a long time. It, it'd be, it'd be, in the system, it's not a long time. I guess here it might be a long time. So another thing to mention about this particular meal right here, this ready-to-eat MRE prison <laughs> meal, is this is also a really popular uh, prison meal inside the jail. Yes, absolutely. People don't get money. like They don't have jobs and stuff like that. People are coming and going in the jail. So yes, this is a, a very, very, very popular jail meal. See, and you do it till it gets caked up just a little bit, just like that. 
then you just fold it over, let it sit like, see how it's almost like a burrito, and then you let it sit. Boom. Nothing right. too fancy. It's not going to be pretty, yeah. but damn it, it's going to get the job done when you're hungry. <laughs> yeah. When you're hungry, it's going to be beautiful. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, we got, we already got one soup to, to our little bowl shot already. I got another one crushed up right here. You got another one crushed up, right on. All right, so this is going to be the more fancy of the Jellico meals right here. Yeah, you use, you generally use just soups and whatever will stick, will stick the noodles to something, have it taste cheesier. Some people use the saltines. The saltines. That's why I had the saltines out. You want to put a little saltines yeah, in Yeah, that's this? what I was going to do. That's what I was going to do. So this is going to be that meal when Jellico did really good on the parlay. <laughs> yeah, or focus. Joe got some really good pictures uh, in. Yeah. And Jellico had a good week on yeah, the yard. Yeah, that's it. Do that's you remember what I was giving you the pictures for? You were giving it to me for... $2, right? N no, you were giving it to me $1.50. But I was buying them up front because you wanted stamps for some reason. You right. wanted books of stamps. But there was a time when you had to give them to me and I had to... There were certain items that you needed. But uh, yeah, it all worked out. Didn't you, know? you have access to the Buttman magazine? I, I bought the Buttman magazine for $65 on the yard. And that thing was like an American Express black yes, card. Yes, it, it was. But I mean, in due time, it all got old and I bought it toward the end of my bid. There's no more fun in it after a while. Everybody done bought the same ones and stuff like that. When it's time to go home, when I finally got the Buttman magazine, I got it because I, because I just wanted to have it and then and you know what's crazy about that is, remember, you were in a different building than me. You were in six building, I was in three, three building. building. yeah. So I had, to, I had to sneak across the yard every couple of days to come check on Jellico. But as you can see, I just put a- uh, You look, put the- Half, half, a, half a little uh, ramen noodle pack of cheese, uh, cheese crackers. And we put just a little bit of beans in there. And all we do now... Hold on, real quick before we move on, we also put some saltines in here as well. Yes, to make it stick. But I want to get a shot of this real quick, Cody, because you got to look about how frugal this is. Here's like one refried bean right here. You know, there's not a whole lot going on in this bowl. And again, that speaks to the frugalness yeah. of you trying to stretch out things. Yeah, see like this meal... That meal right there, that, that meal right there could feed two people easily. I mean, that's, that's a like, boss meal. I could eat one of these and be good for a day and a half. That's like Thanksgiving right yeah, there. Yeah, that's a boss meal. <laughs> we, ha we have our heart, hot water, so we'll put it in there. Is that water even hot? Yeah, but all you, we got to put it in the microwave to cook it a little bit. Then we put it in the microwave, let it cook. Everybody's got their own way of doing things, and this is a perfect example of that. I'll do my meal different than how he does his meal, and some, everybody's just got their own way of doing things. That's, so, e that's exactly it. Like, some people swear put pickles in everything. Like, uh, the burrito, I think we're going we're gonna to put some... Uh, some pickles in it? We're going to put some pickles in that one because... Are we putting any meat in this? Yes, I was going to put it on top. So I you want to wanna cut up some sausage? Absolutely. All right, let's get the sausage cut up. We're going to need a knife to open that up. I got you ready. And, that, and that's cool that you got the summer sausage the beef summer sausage, because in the system, that's what we have. We have salami, turkey, the beef summer sausage, and the beef sausage. You know, while you're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and bust up this. Yeah, I started on this one already. I oh, you already got that one going? People don't know about that. You gotta bust up the pickle in the bag because it's just easier. Ain't got a knife, ain't got a razor blade. You're busting the pickle in the bag. And it's almost like a little therapy stress yeah, ball too. At the same time. You were doing this in the truck one time when we were filming a video. I'm like, Jellico, <laughs> people are going to think you're crazy, man. Stop doing that. But he had mentioned this as well. He says, you know, look, he, he is a little institutionalized. Yeah, some people, yeah. I mean, I've done a lot of time, man. I'm not proud of it. I'm not proud of the time that I've done, but the fact of the matter is I've done a lot of time, man. Uh, I use I used it all as a learning experience one way or another, man. I try not to forget where I come from. Jellico, that is extra soupy right there. It, it is, but I mean, we got it kind of thick. We got it kind of thick. We won't let it sit. We got to let it sit a little bit anyway. You might want to mix that up a little bit. Well, yeah, you got all the shit still at the bottom. There you go. Get that shit mixed up. See? See, people are funny about how they... <laughs> people are funny how they like their stuff. Let me, let me not tell you how to make your meal. <laughs> We just did a cooking video the other day uh, with this girl, Shannon, who's a part of this. And I'm sitting there basically just doing everything. I just wanted to make a meal with her. It came out. It was probably one of the best prison meals we ever really? had. Really? Oh, man. Right on. It looked like Mount Trashmore. Oh, really? Did she do the, uh, what, what do they call it? A lot of people do 
I don't know what they call it, like a ro like a lo mein, just noodles with a bunch of stuff on it. Is that how she did hers? Well, we just did a swole. We just did a basic like spread and uh, just, boy, we dressed it up real fancy. Oh, wow. So here we go. We have to let that set. All right, so the bowl shot's working. We got some sausage cut up. And again, look at that. We didn't even, Jellico did not use hardly any sausage right there at all. You see that, Cody? Usually, usually me, I can use the sausage at least three times. Well, we're definitely going to be able to get three times out of that. Yeah. All right, Jellico, while we let everything set up, what's the third meal? Okay, uh, well, the third meal is just a simple burrito, man. You can, you can make the noodle any way you want. Some people just cook the, no the noodle just like it is, throw a little bit of bean in it. And that's what I think we'll do. Did you cut the pickle up there? Yeah. <laughs> Watch this guy. <laughs> All right, but so yeah. we got our wraps. So we got to cook the noodles. We'll put some beans in them. Uh, usually put about, we usually put about a noodle, noodle and a half. Now you're not too concerned about how broken up these are because of the fact no, no, that no, these no. are going. You want, yeah, you want these, you still want these kind of big. Okay. You still want these kind of big. And you gotta have the beans, gotta have the beans, and you put the pickles in last. Okay. Here we go. And the agua water, come over here. Just a little bit of water. I'm gonna get this pickle opened up. What kind of cheese are we using on this? We've got the uh, man. See, that's the thing, man. I, I, I just use the normal, the, 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 the jalapeno because it gets a little. It's got a little kick to it. Got a little kick to it. And everybody always, you know, there you go. He already knows what to do. He he puts the, puts it on the wrap, so it's already there, ready to go. Uh, oh, I'm just opening this for you. This is your meal. Oh, okay. We're doing this uh, Jellico, <laughs> Jellico's three easiest, cheapest yes. prison meals. Yes, but I mean, shoot, somebody should have made a, a book about this, man, because I'm telling you, I mean, a lot of times I, I still, I still make a lot of my meals this way anyway, man. I saw a, a post from our good friend Rabbit. And I mean, the other night he was making this exact thing right here, these burritos. Something else to mention about these cheap meals and these, I guess, meals for a guy who doesn't get a lot of money in prison. Because you're not doing the big fancy meals, you ain't got to worry so much. I mean, you're still going to have to deal with it, but you don't have to worry so much about somebody coming up saying, damn, man, what you making over there, though? Yeah. <laughs> People kind of feel for the guy who doesn't have it like that. So when they see him making a meal, yeah, it's mostly like... It's mostly like this. Go, <laughs> yeah. Jellico. The yeah. microwave is right there. <laughs> yeah. You're almost there. All right. So the burrito's cooking. The bag burrito is cooking. The That's bull shot is working. That's probably going to take a little while. And then Jellico is mixing up these broken into fourths is what it looks like. Yeah. Oh, We're we going to flex a little bit here. We're going to yeah, put a little, a little more bit beans bean. in there. That's the trick, though, to the burrito, man. You got to have it tasting beanie. Have we put any uh, seasoning in there yet? And what, if any, seasoning are we putting in I don't, in there? I don't, if you, unless we, all you have was chicken. Usually I put the beef pack seasoning in here, but all we have was uh, chicken. Chicken, yeah. Chicken. Here's one thing we can check out right now that should be ready. Here, the burrito. Should be perfect right now. How long did that take us? Maybe five, ten minutes? About that. Here we go. Five, ten minutes. Here you go. And the, this is the prison burrito everybody and as soon as that bag gets to opening up as soon as i see jellico opening that bag up right there oh what is that though there you damn, go damn how that looks so cheesy that's gonna look like a hot pocket see and it's just like that <laughs> and a lot of people got hot sauce or whatever it's ready to go right there you got your you got your bowl you got your nap it's, it, there it is it's ready to go it's a piece of cake just eat it just like that it's let me get a piece of that your prison burrito go ahead i'm gonna cut me a little piece of this off Cut it off. It ain't nothing like we ain't already had before, but <laughs> bang. Boy, that joint's sticking together. That's sticking to the knife. Here's that. Jellico's cheap and easy prison bag burrito. Mmm. Mmm. Still crunchy. It's good, though. It's going to get the job done. Piece of cake. Just like that. See? There's all the cheese and the noodles. You know what? This is taking me back right here, Jellico. I know, right? That's, taking me that's back. jail. That's jail. Taking me back to them days jail. in the 87. <laughs> Chesapeake City Jail. Yeah. Mm, boy, 
We got the burrito, the burrito ingredients ready. We just need them to set up just a little bit because the... You want the lid? Yeah, we're gonna need those to set up just a little bit. Because, Are we putting any pickle in here yet? Uh, we can't. We can't at the end because it's because it's generally so messy. Okay. You want the lid? Yes, please. All right, got the lid there on there. Go. Now, are you cooking that sausage right there? No, I, I don't. All right, so where are we at right now, Jellico? Put the ingredients in there. You can throw it back in the microwave. Here we go. This is the bowl shot right here. Before we go and put it in one more time. See how it's setting up? It was a little bit moist, but here it is set up. So you're going back in the microwave, you said? Yes, we are, but we're going to put our ingredients back in those. What do you want? The jalapeno? You want the jalapeno? You, do, you, you make this your way, Joe. Here we go. You got the jalapeno. Then once you got the little bowl shot made up, you, this is when you add your little sauces. And that's when you can, because you're going to throw it in the microwave to cook it. Now, you're not putting a whole lot of cheese on that thing, right? Yeah. If you've got you a tub of cheese like this, Jellico, how long is this tub going to last you if you're not giving any of it away? Me, that's going to last me at least a week. But a lot, a lot of guys, that, that, that don't last maybe a day, day and a half to the guys who eat on a regular basis. Yeah, this would last me two meals. Yeah, yeah. That's two meals is all joke. I'm getting out of that. And usually if you buy a pack of pepperonis on, comm excuse me, on commissary, there's 40 pepperonis in a pepperoni yeah, pack. You want to wipe that off? Yeah, there's 40 pepperonis in a pepperoni pack. God, so, Jellico. Jellico be knowing them numbers. 40, How many slices? 40. You 40. Want you want to count? I do. <laughs> let's see how close. Let's see how close. <laughs> Tell us at 40. Let's see how close we are. Did you know or did you guess? Now, usually there's about 40 in there. Let's 40. See. 40 saltines per sleeve. People were impressed by that, Jellico. They were impressed <laughs> by your uh, your knowledge of the counts. <laughs> how many counts a day are they doing in prison? Six. <laughs> All right, I'm counting these saltines. We got uh, that's five right there. That's another five. That's ten. 15, 17. Oh, I might have been wrong. No, I think you're going to be close. That's 20. Let's see if we can stack them up. Oh, that yeah, looks pretty good there, bro. I'm pretty <laughs> close. I might be off by maybe one or two, bro. Stand up, damn it. I got one I got one more left in the thing. Oh, you do? I'm pretty sure I'm pretty close, bro. So that's a stack of 20 right there. What we got? We got four. That's five, 10, 15, 20. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Who knows these type of things? <laughs> I told you, bro. Well, anyway, here's your bowl shot that's been topped with cheese and your little pepperonis. And this is usually, you usually leave this in until the pepperonis curl. I mean, the uh, sausages curl. Anybody who usually makes pizza in the oven, that's how you usually know when your pizza's done when the pepperonis curl. I didn't know that. Boy, I'm learning all sorts of stuff on this, this meal right here. I learned that there's 40, 40 saltines in a, in a sleeve. <laughs> all right, so we're now, done with the cheese puffs. Yep. Mmm. All of these se seasoning packs, remember these? Saving these for whatever? Taking them to the chow hall. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Boy, you take this to the chow hall? Oh, oh my God. What are you seasoning the chow hall with these? Ah, uh, there used to be this, the, the one one with the, just the noodles. The uh, the yakisobi. The yakis oh my God, the yak. You got the yak. You got the yak. You got the, the, the chicken a la king. Oh, the chicken, that's right. The manager's special. And the manager's special. You better have your seasoning pouch when you go up in that chow hall. All right, this one might be ready. Let's see if we got the burrito ready. Oh, there we go. The noodles look good. The noodles look good. See? Boom. See, the beans are done. The refried beans are done. And you know, real quick before you go any further with this, let's just take a, get a shot of this real quick. That's a meal by itself. That is a meal by itself. If you don't have no wraps, if you ain't got no cheese, if you ain't got no sausage, you put your noodle in there with them refried beans, it's going to enhance that noodle. To the max. To the max. Yep. So here we go. And that's why so many guys are going to come up to you saying, hey, you man. have a little cheese. Yes. Can I get a scoop? Yes. Or a shot of refried beans. <laughs> <laughs> you got any cheese? Can I get a scoop? Well, that's a fat little wrap you got right yeah, there. Yeah, it is, man. Well, a lot of times in the system, our wraps were bigger. We had the bigger wraps. So are you putting anything else on there yes, with this? Yes, the, the pickles. There you go, man. Here you go, you can't go wrong. Well, you dress that up, I'll get your other thing up out of here. Your sausage has began to curl. 
Have it? Hang on, man. I can't be done yet. No, no, man. I gotta put More? That, yeah, I gotta put that in longer. God, boy, that thing is hot! I gotta put that in longer. Yeah. And here is... The Jellico Special. The Jellico Burrito Meal. And usually you can serve these on your lid. This is how we used to take care of the guys we had white lids. But here you go. A lot of gentlemen eat this just like it is. Or what they'll do... A lot of guys like their their sausage is a little bit crispy. So you can put these in the microwave for a, a longer time to fry them. And do you remember the chip bags we used to make the, the crunchy burritos? Yeah, you got to put them in the uh, yeah, silver lining bag. We don't have a silver lining. Well, you bag. also got to wrap them in newspaper, too. Yes, there's there you go. <laughs> got to wrap them in that yeah, newspaper. Yeah, you're going yeah. to burn up that microwave. <laughs> yeah. What you do is you wrap these up and put these in a chip bag that has silver lining. And you wrap it with a uh, piece of newspaper and you stick it in there for two minutes. And then you flip it over, put it in another two minutes, and it makes it crunchy. Otherwise, you'd be like me, I don't have chip bags because I don't eat chips. This is how I, I would eat my meal. This would be the burrito uh, that I would eat. Yeah, would, you, would you like a bite? Well, not yet. We're going to put this off the side. We're going to put that off the side. We'll, we'll, get to, we'll get to all that at the end. And again, don't be looking at this for looks. You're probably looking, some people are probably looking at this right now That's saying, That's not oh, too appetizing. Well, I'm you get good with that candy, though. What the heck is this? Again, he's not a kid <coughs> have it like that in prison. Yeah. He, wasn't, he wasn't going to commissary all that often. So when it comes to prison meals, for everybody, it's different. Not only in terms of the preparation, but in terms of how and why they're able to cook. Do you have money to do it? Or is somebody sending you money? There's a lot of guys now in the system, that's what they do is cook. They have all the bowls. There's guys now in the last place I was, St. Bride, you just leave all your stuff to them and you give you give him two bucks at the, at the end of the meal and he cooks for you on re regular. They were chefs, like basically chefs. I had a couple of those. Yeah. <laughs> I had I had Kenny Weaver. Did, were you in three building with me? You weren't in there. Yes, one. I was in three building with you. Okay, so you remember you remember Kenny Weaver? I remember Weaver. I don't know. Kenny remember. Weaver, my yeah. bunkie, he had the, the tattoos down his jawline. It said uh, God's gift and um, I am what I am. <laughs> he used to cook for me. And then when I went to six building, I think you had gone home by then. Yes, I had gone. another guy who, uh, who was cooking. So, man, look at that. There you go. Three meals that Jellico whipped up for us just that quick. The bag burrito the wrap that's not staying wrapped, and the more luxurious of the meals that he would make, the bowl shot. Are you going to put any pickles on that bowl shot? Yes, we can. We can. We, let's some let's like dress that. that up just a little bit more. Well, I guess it comes time for the taste test. We already kind of dug into the burrito. We probably should have saved that till we got to the end. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not really looking forward to that right there, but I will try it. And I'm definitely oh, looking geez. forward to that. Obviously, that's the, the better of the meals that you made right there. And I guess I'm going to go ahead and start with this. So. You can't go wrong, man. What is this? This is almost reminding me of like dive diners and drive throughs <laughs> So I'm Guy Fiera. I'm at Jellico's <laughs> bulk area right now. Mm, Jellico, wow, this looks like a flick. This looks like a freaking uppercut straight to my upper lip. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Joe can't handle the old prison food. That's he, he's been living the life of luxury too long. Man. Oh, that was horrible, Jellico. He's been living the life of luxury too long, bro. God. Let's see what you got, bro. What are you talking about, bro? You're tripping. That's good. Yeah. There's no seasoning on the noodles. That garlic zesty pickle is a little too garlic, garlic and zesty. Nothing wrong with that, man. Mm. All right. Let's go ahead and try this. This one actually looks like it might be <laughs> might be something here. So, um, and that was no disrespect neither towards your meal. It no, was. No, I mean, it's all good. I think it's the pickle because when I was in the system, they didn't have the garlic zesty pickle. And it's not a garlic zesty pickle. Oh, well then, what is it, a sweet and sour? No, it's just a normal pickle, man. It's just mm. been a while, bro. It's zesty garlic flavor. Oh, okay, I guess you're right. Yeah, that was a zesty yeah. garlic. All right, let's try this one right here. Really greasy. Very Guy good. Fiera. Huh. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<sighs> All right, that's right on point, man. Hmm. Um. Tell me what, now I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay. That's good. That's good. For a cheap meal, that's really good right there. With a seasoning pack on that, that thing would have been on point right there. But this one here, I've need, got no complaints. You need hot sauce. A little hot sauce? I got some hot sauce. Well, hang on, man. You can't have it. If you didn't get it in the system, I don't want it. It won't taste the same. It's not going to be authentic. Oh. See, but that's the thing. In the system, this would be a dinner. This would be like at the end of the night, everything's done. You done worked out. You done showered. You're ready to just chill back and watch The Voice or America's Got Talent or something The like Bachelor. That. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Boy, that Bachelor. Yeah. That was something. Yeah. Um, and the reason why you want to eat these at night, if you've never made one of these before, because once you eat this, this is going to shut you down. Yep. It's going to shut you down, it's going to sit you down, and you're going to be ready to go to sleep. Because <laughs> you eat dinner at 4 o'clock, and in the system, you don't eat again until 7. So that's 13 long hours of nothing, except some water and some TV. That's it, 13 hours. you got to have something to hold you over. 32 cents. Or not much more than that. Yeah. Maybe a couple of pictures you sold on the yard. Yeah. A couple of pair of pants you sewed up. I got a blister on the top of my gum, uh, on the top, <laughs> the roof of my mouth right now. I know I do. Mm. Jellico, man, really awesome. I want to thank you for coming over here and sharing these three recipes with us. Uh, they might not be. They're not as extravagant as some of the other meals, man. But it's just, it's just the way it was for me. And I remember you saying, just do it the way it was for you. And in, in general, in my life and everything I do, it's this simplistic way, and it's just the easy way. I do, just do what I got to do to get by. You know what I'm saying? And that, that's just, that, that's everybody in everyday life. You know, they're just doing whatever they can to do to survive and make it to the next day, you know. And that's just how I did it. Well, again, man, I want to thank you for taking the time to come over here and share these recipes with us. Share Not a little a bit of your experiences with us. And again, let's see what we can do next. Not a problem. And because I didn't do it on the last video, I need to do it on this video. Hey, look, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did so, please leave a like and a comment letting me know exactly what you thought about this. And as always, until next time, enjoy life, the free world. Never take a moment for granted, and make the most of every day. Absolutely. Peace!